have emerged on why the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, arrested Kano State First Lady Dr. Hafsat Ganduje. Mrs. Ganduje, who was compelled to report herself to EFCC headquarters in Abuja on Monday, October 4, 2021, was quizzed for more than five hours for her alleged involvement in a land scandal. She got into trouble following a petition filed against her by her first son, Abdulaziz Ganduje. The governor's wife, who had earlier ignored EFCC's invitation, was drilled over alleged illegal hijack of land property worth billions of naira. Governor Ganduje, who accompanied his wife to EFCC headquarters, was said to have influenced her release. The governor and his wife returned to Kanu through Malam Aminu Kanu International Airport, Kanu, on Tuesday morning, October 5. Abdulaziz had dragged his mother to EFCC over a property which he claimed the mother used her assets to power to enrich herself. In his petition, Abdulaziz, the governor's son, has said he was approached by a property developer to facilitate the acquisition of some plots of land in Kanu with some hundreds of thousands of US dollars as commission. He said three months later, the property developer discovered that the plots of land he paid for had been allocated to other buyers and he requested for refund. Abdulaziz said the mother refused to honor the request, straining the relationship between him and the developer. He was said to have fled abroad after filing the petition. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.